Are braces recommended for adults with scoliosis? When it comes to bracing and scoliosis, most people associate bracing and scoliosis typically with adolescent cases while they're still growing and developing. But can we actually use bracing for adult patients? And when it comes to traditional bracing, meaning a traditional Boston brace or a Providence brace or a nighttime brace, the answer is no. They normally don't recommend these braces because these braces are just designed to try to stop a curve from progressing over time. And since these are just trying to slow down progression, the only real appropriate time is during rapid progression, which would be in, a, in adolescent years for a child still growing and developing, to try to slow down progression. For an adult, they're going to be progressing very slowly over, over their lifetime, half a degree, a degree, a degree and a half, depending on the size of the curve. So for them to slow down their progression, they would have to wear the brace for, for their entire life at a full time, at a very high level to get a, any type of results or improvement as a result of it. So the idea would be is, so what type of brace could you use? Well, there are other types of braces and there's something called a corrective style brace. And a corrective a style brace is not just trying to slow down a curve from progressing over time. The idea of a corrective style brace is to actually work against the curve's direction or push against the curves to actually reduce the scoliosis that's happening, that's developing there. With corrective style bracing, you can actually try to reduce the scoliosis that's actually there, which can have an impact on progression and help improve a person's problems as a result of the scoliosis. And it works particularly well when a patient does it with something called intensive care, which I'll explain in a second. When I talk about corrective bracing and we think about bracing on somebody's teeth, we have to think of it very similarly. Like, not many patients would wear, would wear braces on their teeth if the very best thing was to slow down the worsening of it. Most people that wear braces on their teeth want their teeth to be straighter. And the reason why is because braces on the teeth are pushing and pulling on people's teeth to help improve the position. That's the same thing as a corrective scoliosis brace. A traditional brace is kind of like a retainer for somebody's teeth. It's just trying to hold it where it is. And the idea would be is to get the curve to reduce, we need to push against it to get the best reduction. Now, how do we get this to work in an adult patient that's no longer growing or developing? Well, first thing is that we do something called intensive care. Intensive care is a very rapid approach in reducing a curve, meaning we'd use a multimodal approach in a very condensed format, meaning high dose, low duration, one week, two weeks of treatment, anywhere from 30 to 60 hours of care to get a very rapid change. Now, why is this important? Because if we can reduce the curve rapidly and quickly, we can design a brace with that in mind. That meaning knowing that we're gonna reduce the curve allows us to build braces that are more aggressive to get a greater reduction in the scoliosis in the adult patient. And because of this, since, since adults aren't growing, we're not really expecting progression, it's more about developing stability. Also, as we reduce the curve for an adult patient, we can also reduce their pain because we know most kids that have scoliosis, doesn't, they don't experience any pain. So you can stop growing with a 20, 30, 40 degree curve and experience no pain, then progress five degrees as an adult because of gravity pushing down and that five degrees will hurt where the initial 40 didn't. So if we can get patients and just reduce them back to where they were when they stopped growing, we can tr tremendously re improve and reduce their pain that they're experiencing. So when we can reduce their curve and then hold it that way with a, with a very well designed corrective brace, we can actually help them not only reduce the curve, but deal with the pain and the, what they're experiencing as a result of it. Do curves progress in the adult stage even? Yes, we know they definitely do. Even though there's not a lot of studies associated with what happens to adults with scoliosis, we know curves progress in the adult stage. And the largest factor with how fast they progress is two things, is how big your curve is. So meaning the bigger your curve is, the more likely it is to progress and the faster it's gonna progress and the older you become. Now the problem is both those things tend to happen at the same time. 
meaning if you're 20 years old and your curve's progressing a half a degree a year, as your curve gets bigger, you're getting older. So both things tend to increase the progression. And what we see is something that I call a dragon's tail, that it starts off relatively flat and then it starts increasing faster and faster and faster as you get older. So therefore, a traditional brace, the very thing that you have to do is you have to wear it your entire life to kind of slow down that progression. Where what we could do is when we can, when we can reduce the curve quickly, Right? We can decrease the effect on gravity over time with the intensive care and a corrective brace to reduce your pain and reduce the curve. Now we can wear this curve, we can wear the brace to help hold the spine down and it's worn more like in a part-time status than a full-time status just to hold this curve down and then we can wean people out of their braces because the curve is actually reduced compared to their initial onset. So the idea would be is very similar to bracing on the teeth. You get the teeth as straight as possible, you remove full-time bracing, you go into like a part-time retainer, then you go from part-time retainer into like only a nighttime retainer, and then you start even maybe wearing your retainer every other day or not, maybe not at all because your teeth are so straight and stable. And the same thing is true when it comes to our treatment of scoliosis. It's a rapid reduction, then it's stabilization, then it's weaning out and then monitoring, making sure the curve doesn't continue to progress. That's how you can successfully get corrective bracing in an adult patient versus an adolescent. So what are the next steps if you're an adult with scoliosis and you're concerned whether you, you could you qualify for a brace or not qualify to brace, my best recommendation is to reach out to us here at Scoliosis Reduction Center. We'll completely evaluate your case, provide customized treatment plans, and if that involves you wearing a brace, you'll be custom fitted for your brace. So therefore, it's not a, just a traditional Boston brace, it's one built for you, for your scoliosis to get the reductions that you want. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.